<clears throat> so, yeah, world of YouTube. Everybody, everybody in. Ceremony's about to begin. Oh, wrong video. Ah! Anyways, two bird encounters. One of them I was not encountered by, but it was by my father. Told me the story, and the other one was a uh, dream I had this morning. So before I get into my dream, I'll just say that supposedly, yes, my brother and his wife went over to my father's house do some chores for my mother and I guess as they were walking in an owl was outside again now the last time they saw the owl was in the other house that they lived in on Devlin Passway and unfortunately my mother got sick for those that know, for those of those people that don't know, I believe owls are not to command death, but to warn you of an illness that is coming that will lead you to death. I mean, I'm sure there's people that might have died because the illness was not detected, but yeah. That's what I believe what the owl means in the sacred Native American world, spirit world. So, I mean, that's the first bird sighting, and that's at the new house they're in. So I was like, whoa. <laughs> Hopefully it ain't. <clears throat> Bad results like the last one, but nothing has happened yet. So my dream this morning, like I say, I get out of touch with things, out of touch with my ghost hunting out in cemeteries or whatnot, especially the Native American land that I'm a huge hunter for and wouldn't you know like I said lately I haven't been having many dreams I mean the last one I had was about the the factory the, the woman the, the cop getting in my face and I mean And then I get up and go into these stupid, like, say, like, movie clip dreams. They're just friggin' dreams that are, I don't know, just damn short. I don't even know if you can call them dreams, but I'm, not, I'm, I'm fully awake. I doze off a little bit, and it's just like one of them short images that come in your mind and... And then it's gone, but it's like, damn. So this dream, besides the factory dream, has been a solid dream I've had for a while now. Maybe a, I don't know. Nothing I have dreamt about so far has been even worthy enough to even talk about. <clears throat> well, not a casino dream. I don't even think I, I even explained that one. That one I had the other day. Shoot. I know yesterday morning. I have to do that in another video. <laughs> that one was messed up. I just forgot about that one. But, like I say, just the shortness of dreams I've been having... And I mean, yeah, I think I'm going to talk about it. That one I, yeah, I wasn't really going to talk about, but 
when I explained it to my wife, I was like, yeah, I mean, yeah. She was in it, but. <laughs> but it was weird. But this one was just. So I'm sitting. I want to say so on a freaking bench. And there's bread under the bench. I don't know. It was like it was like I was like in a theater slash prison type ordeal. And I had, of course, lately when I when when I do have dreams and I got people in it, I don't even know. <clears throat> I mean, there's a bunch of seats. There's like I want to say five people in there. I don't even know. Look like all men. One particular was sitting at the right of me, talking, <clears throat> you know, he seemed like a real dick. <laughs> and why do I say that? Because what happens next? It's like, wow, shut up! I yell at him. And no one's in line for coffee this morning, so I'll have to pause. Please bear with me. I'll be back. Hopefully this video don't mess up and I don't think it's going to pause. Uh-oh. I did the wrong video. Shoot. Bear with me. I won't be able to pause. Hi, Jimbo. Yep. Looks like you're stuck here with me getting coffee. Left that there. Now that's disgusting. <laughs> oh man, the damn survey ain't coming in. Could have left it to that. That stinks. Please hold. An associated member will be with you in a moment. Please hold and associate. We'll be with you momentarily. Hello, yes. Sorry to keep you waiting. How may I help you? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. no hurry I'll wait for the next one so as was, as I'm sitting there as I was saying with a guy sitting on the right hand of me talking stupid about stuff I mean it was all down even know what the hell we're talking about yeah 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 wouldn't you know a goddamn raven flies out of nowhere swoops up on my forearm and start, started croaking at me. The guy next to me screaming, holy shit, we're all gonna die, holy shit. I'm like, shut the hell up. Me, I was excited. I'm like, damn, look at this. Now the last time I had a dream of a raven damn thing was like trying to land on my head. This one landed on my friggin' forearm. 
<clears throat> the left one, mind you. And as it's sitting there croaking and stuff and flapping its wing, trying to balance, and I'm trying to hold it on my arm because I think, damn, this is friggin' cool. The, uh, guy next to me is just tweaking. <clears throat> and the bird started looking at him going, glah, glah, and, you know, croaking at him. So I started patting it on its head and shit, and I'm like, whoa, yeah, this is cool. The thing started, you know, messing around with me, like playing. Started biting my finger and croaking all at the same time. Like, God, guy's like, don't do that, he's gonna bite your finger off, huh? I'm like, shh, and I kept telling the guy to shut up. What the hell? Well, this thing's like, you know, messing around me by my finger, and I don't know, I was patting it, and it just, every now and then, I look at the guy and scream at him, like, brah, how ravens croak. So I'm like, wow, this is messed up. I don't know why I had that dream. Supposedly, when you do have them dreams, <laughs> Go figure, they're trying to, supposedly the raven, if it visits you in a dream, I think it's got to do with depression, it's trying to make you happy. I did read that in one of the uh, articles of a totem, and why you get visited by, visited by birds. So I'm like, damn, man, I've been going through a lot lately. I'm trying to keep my head above water. Trying to keep my damn videos going because that's the only thing that keeps me right now <laughs> sane. I gotta keep my mind occupied. I can't be losing it, say so. <laughs> uh, I mean, what's been going down lately is just God. Oh man, I want to rip my rest of my hair out of my head. So I mean. I mean, it is starting to look a little bit better, but it's a wait period now. Hoping that when this all comes down in light, I'm gonna start <laughs> easing up on some tension with my friggin' mind. The insanity crap going on. Yeah. But that dream, let alone, I mean, so I'm sitting there messing around with a bird, you know. And all of a sudden, the friggin' guy's like, what the f Oh, man. He's over there, shoo, shoo. Of course, the bird flies away. And don't I wake up out of the dream like, you son of a bitch. What the hell did you do that for, man? I'm yelling at the guy now, right? I was like, whatever, you stupid. And I, you know, I was like waking up and uh, shaking it off and like, what the hell? But I was mad, though. I was. Goddamn Raven come to play. That was pretty neat. You jerk got to go screw it up. <laughs> but anyways. Oh, I think I'll tell the other dream now. I'm going to friggin'... So yeah, yesterday I got this dream going about <clears throat> being in a casino. And this was real bizarre too, I mean. But I was standing there and, you know, me and my wife were walking around and whatnot. <clears throat> and all of a sudden these two seven foot guys towering over me like, like squeeze into each other, get in front of me and my wife, and she gets cut in front of them. So I'm standing behind them, like trying to go around them. But all of a sudden, a crowd of people mobbed in after that. I'm like, what the f? So I'm looking and looking and looking, 
and I ended up going down like a fork in the uh, casino. So I bang a left, the two tall guys are banging a right. And I'm walking, walking, and I notice, right, I'm in this area now, like a theater, another theater, mind you. I don't know what it is with these goddamn theaters. And that's, what, that's yeah, that makes the dream with the, uh, the raven like a similarity. But the one with the raven was more darker and sinister looking. <clears throat> the theater was empty and I ended up walking through the doors. I see the stage, I see the seating. But right, I lost my wife. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. All in all, the, the casino say so was towering ceilings, to, you know, like 30 feet high and <clears throat> sectioned off in different colors. They had like blue, red, purple, yellow. And when you would go up to the sign, like to say, you are here, right? Checkpoint. And they got all the, you know, the directions to go in the hallways. This was a virtual sign. Literally, it looked like a 3D dimensional sign. And there was, you know, colors of the places of where the casino were red, blue, green, you know, yellow, whatever. Whatever colors it was, but them individual colors were like lighting up in individual dots, you know, like lead you the way, but in dot form, and it would blink on up until the point, and like it would be, like when the Mustangs uh, directional goes on, the newer Mustangs, you watch the light, you know, blink individually, the three lights, that's how the dots went. <clears throat> so I noticed that the blue is way over here. I'm way over here in the red. Then I'm looking for the fork. That was like, yeah, I would think it was like green. And that's the direction where obviously my wife went. I'm like, what the f? So I'm like, God damn it. And these halls were long. So I'm walking back. And I got that theater stuck in my head. And, you know, thinking, why am I in this theater. And then when, yeah, when the Raven dream, now that I think of it, came up, and that was like in a theater, was like, what am I gonna come into now? Sometimes I've been led to places in dreams. And yeah, it's friggin' freaky. Just effing freaky. So by the time I walked the hallway and got to the green dots, and I was like, oh, screw this. <laughs> you know, I wake up. What the hell am I dreaming about? What the fuck? Oh, man. So like I say, when I don't have dreams for a while, damn. When they do come in lately, they've just been one realistic. Two people I don't even friggin' know. I just, you know, flooding in. And it's like trying to make contact yet is, is sometimes it happens, a lot of times it don't. Cause I don't know if I'm getting into that damn spirit world badly, but if it is, man, wow. I wish I knew more how to communicate. But other than that, the past three days has just been, phew. Really. So anyways, that was dreams for today visit from the owl getting pretty weird but you know 
Sometimes I wonder if that's just my mental mind, but I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Something trying to tell me something. <clears throat> Until that next video, be safe, take care. And always document your dreams. Whether it be on video or get out a damn notebook. Because I guarantee somewhere down the line, you too will have a message given to you. A place where you never been before come alive. I'm telling you. Dreams ain't no joke. And dreams give out. That is another porthole to the next dimension of the spirit world. That's what I think. Take um how can I say it? Take how do I want to say that? Take uh damn it take high interest in your dreams. High you know ah, damn I can't think of that word. You wanna make sure you listen to it though. Follow it, write it down, and one day you'll be amazed at what it comes to, what it unfolds to. Take all seriousness in the dreams. Out.